Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting. Just want to thank you guys for subscribing. Also, thanks for taking a look at the second part of my uh, Painting Blue Horse video. It is a bonus airbrush episode. This was kind of inspired. A, guy, uh, a couple guys said they wanted to see some of the live day-to-day -day operation. I want to let everyone know, please keep suggesting new things to me. I will try literally everything you guys suggest at least once. Right now, I'm going to paint some gold on them. Like, I left them off with that green and I glazed that green from yesterday's video. Uh, what I'm doing real quick though is I'm just taking some gold, Vallejo Air Gold, which I think is really easy to apply. And I'm coming in and I'm just painting these little, all their little bracelets and rings and all this shenanigans that they have. They have a lot of jewelry for demons. It is shocking. Uh, so you can, as you can see, like just real carefully Normally, I would hold this thing a different way, but I'm just trying to film myself, so I just, <laughs> it's hard. I would cradle this thing in my lap, lean back on my chair, looking homeless. But uh, you can, as you can see, like, I mean, they got all these little silly, let me see, like, get this autofocus. Yeah, you see. They got a million bracelets, like Xena the Warrior Princess style bracelets, whatever those are called. You see right here. So I'm going through, I'm just knocking those out. Uh, just, you know, just super simple, like real thick. I'm not, I'm not blending anything. I'm just <clears throat> getting it nice. Nice and smooth, because I'm gonna probably come back with a wash and wash the metal a little bit. That's usually my MO, as it were. But yeah, you can see here. Uh, not the most interesting step, but it is the grind. I will come back shortly after I finished all this. I just painted all these little silly bracelets, all the little jewelry on these guys. As you can see, it's starting to sharpen the models up a little bit. Now that you can see um, some de some definition coming together. Next step, I'm going to possibly, I think, paint their uh, feathers. They have a bunch of little feathers, like, hanging off of them and stuff like that in weird positions. I don't know why. But I'm going to hit them up. I haven't decided what color yet. I'm thinking pink. But uh, that's just me. <laughs> maybe green. but Maybe green like the full, the full flame. Uh, I'll think about it for a few minutes, and I'll come back to you guys. I decided pink because it's. I, like, I just like the way pink looks with these all these crazy colors. So right here, I'm gonna try to hit these feathers up right here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Make sure my focus is looking fresh. It's pretty good. All right, so pink, pink on these feathers. See if I can get them in the, in the frame better. This is, it's like all backwards and crazy. <laughs> all right, here we go. Just seeing that come together. I will try to, hopefully you guys can see that with the lighting, how that's coming out. What I'm thinking is I'll paint them all pink like this. Uh, get them with like a, a red glaze and then maybe dry brush them back pink a little bit. It should look pretty cool. Give you all those weird bright colors, looking all scene sheen and whatnot. Let me uh, go through and paint all these feathers real quick and I'll show you where I'm at. But uh, as I'm going here, trying to a little bit more real time, here's the pink on the, on the, on the side and the, the arm or whatever. These, silly feathers uh sorry i'm just talking about myself today man uh not used to this format apologize but yeah i'll, I'll keep i'll keep the pictures coming or the, the video coming as i go you can see um hitting them pinks all over the place on these off these all these silly little feathers and etc what i'm gonna do next here is i think i'm gonna get to their tongues i think i'm gonna start purple try to blend the pink in as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to hit up with glaze 
I'll come back to you as soon as I do that. I'm going to start painting these tongues right here, as you can see, one way uh, here. Uh, got it. That was totally by chance that I got the right one. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with purple on these, like a darker purple. Let's see if I can get it right now, right? Literally can't see anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, there he is. This tongue right here. So what I'm going to do with that is just get this like nice purple base on it. And while it's still wet, I'm going to wet blend it. Sorry, let me get that right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab some of this pink I already have out with some water on it. Just immediately start blending the pink and the purple together. Uh, kind of hard. I'm holding it. I'm holding it in a kind of a weird way. There we go. See if I can't get this done with this weird camera angle. Hold it up. Get this focused right. Yeah, I can't tell you <laughs> how hard this is. All right, so you can see like I'm getting this um, darker purple transition, and I'm just gonna work it back and forth with this lighter color right here. As you can see, I hope I hope it's working out. And I'm just gonna like just keep blending that back and forth until I get it the way I want. I'll do all their tongues like that. I'll come right back here in a second. Tongues right here, trying to show you the tongues. Doing my best with this <laughs> this setup. But yeah, I did the tongues, the metal, the AK, the gold, some of the feathers. I'm just trying to spin it around so you can see. I gotta do the claws and the teeth and the eyes still. Well, yeah, you see, we're, we're starting to get a pretty cool effect here. That blue, you know, has that glowing blue effect, that arcane effect. The muscles, I still still have a lot of definition. And the details are coming along pretty well. I'm going to start working on these claws and stuff, and I'll hit you guys back up. All right, guys, I got the, um, the blackout. It's a Vallejo Air Black. I'm going to use it to paint some of these horns. Like a, a really dark, dark color. Look pretty good here now. Since we got so many bright colors popping off. Bring it back to reality, you know. Some really dark, sharp, you know, really just real sharp contrast, you know. Let's see if I can't get this in frame for you guys. Ugh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Painting this way. Also fun. So you can see here, working on this guy's horns. I'm gonna try to go with that kind of look on all the horns and uh, the claws. I'll come back to you in just a minute when I finish this up. Been working on all the uh, black nails, uh, black horns, and black claws. They are coming out okay. Let me uh, see if I can't focus this up on him. Next thing I'm going to do is start doing all those teeth and everything. Just real quick. And that will be the end of the video for today. I'm to this uh, teeth phase. I'm working on this on and off all day. Uh, kind of depressed with how slow it's been going. Uh, probably been distracted though. So... <laughs> do my best right here. I got this paint. Use a Vallejo Air um, Vallejo Air paint for the white. Let's see if I can't. I'm actually trying to paint this guy upside down right now. Let's see what I can do. This little joker right here. I hope you can see that. Paint the teeth. I'm going to come in like that, paint all these teeth up. I'll use a wash later. I'm even going to paint his big old, his, uh, his eyes too. Uh, sorry, this is hard from this angle. It is substantially harder to talk and paintbrush at the same time. 
and paint and airbrush and paint and talk at the same time. Anyway, I'll come right back into this. I'm working on that that T still. You can see the little teethers. Teethers is the technical term. Teethers. Um, <clears throat> painting the little eyes. I'll come back in with a wash here. But you can see they're coming out. They're popping. Details looking pop, looking fresh. Got that cool arcane look. And obviously they're a little like it's a little blurred out because they're on a blue base. You put them on a dark base, it'll sharpen them up. But let me. Uh, let me come back to this after I finish painting all the teeth. This is a better look at what I've done today. All these little whores, their little tongues and their little eyeballs and the teeth. So the next thing I said I'll do is I'll let these guys, I'll, I'll still cut these guys let them sit overnight Come back in the air tomorrow and I'll start using washes on these guys. Let me get a little closer so you can see some more of this stuff. They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're coming together. They're not like super impressive just yet. You got a few more highlights to do, but I think that they have a pretty cool look. Let me refocus here. There you go. Colors are pretty neat, I think. Got that glowy look. Cool. So, yet again, thanks for watching that. Uh, also want to say something real quick. Uh, th this is something that just recent, recently came, into, came to my attention. Uh, YouTube offers fan funding. Uh, crowdsourcing as a word, you know. I received my first fan funding today. Very unexpectedly. I want to give a good shout out to my buddy Matt. Thank you. I promise to use your donation incredibly responsibly. And th thank you to anybody else in the future who supports the channel. I will only ever use these donations for the channel. I will use all the donations responsibly. And that's a promise. Anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you for checking out my video. I'll get back to you guys on Monday. I'll lay out a sneak peek. I'll make my final decision on the elves video or the uh, third tank video. Don't be sure to hit me up in the comments so I can you know, use all that information to make my decision. In the meantime, thanks for watching, players.